Welcome to the Arabesque Scissors YouTube channel. I'm Ali Phillips and in this video I'm going to take you through the very quick and simple procedure for attaching the magnets to the base of the sofa station so that your attachments like your pin cushion and your needle minder will stay securely in place. You can find the link for this pattern in the description below and if you like sewing organisational videos please consider liking this video and subscribing. And if you would like more organizational content like this, leave me a comment. So now I'm going to show you how to add the magnets onto the base of the sofa station so that the pin cushion and the needle binder um, are going to attach magnetically. So the way that I've got this designed is that on the base here, between these two channels, of binding that we have on the front. I have fused a piece of fabric uh, using Wonder Under or um, Heat and Bond just over the top, or top of the back here uh, with the magnet inside it. And uh, this is actually a very, very firm um, adhesion here, so you don't need to worry about this um, coming off easily. Um, I actually tried to pull mine off uh, when I accidentally put it in the wrong place and it took me a really long time. So um, you'll find that this is a really strong um, adhesion here. You don't have to worry about your magnets accidentally falling out. But if you um, are concerned about that and uh, would just like a little bit of extra security, you can just hand stitch um, around the edge of this, uh, just making sure that your stitches don't come through to the outside. So just a little bit of uh, magnet science uh, 101. We'll just take these two little uh, button cell neodymium magnets and I'll just talk about them again. So on every magnet you have a positive side and a negative side and if we put these together like this we've got two sides that are repelling each other so that's either two positive sides or two negative sides and if I flip them both around and push them back together again they're repelling again I can feel them pushing each other and so what we're wanting is to flip one of them around and you can see that they snap together and they're going to attract each other and so that's what we need to happen through the base of the sofa station you need one facing one way and then you need to feel that it's actually snapping into place underneath it. If they're pushing each other apart you need to flip one of them over so that they're going to attract towards each other. And the other thing that I um, like to have about these uh, magnets is that I would like both of these to attach onto either magnet so that I can switch these around or uh, take one of them off and just have one here or one here. And so you need the polarity to both be going the same way underneath and in the base of these. And the way you can check this is to push like these together and you should feel them pushing each other apart. They shouldn't be attracting or snapping together. They need to be um, the same polarity facing each other. And so you can either go ahead and make these first and make sure that you've got your magnets um, in opposite polarity like that. Or you can make them last and you can put these on the back first and just make sure that they're going the same way by using the same principle. The magnets need to be opposing each other, which means that they will both go down that way or both go down the opposite way. It doesn't matter which way. So you can choose to put them on first on the base and make these last or you can uh, make these first and add these on at the end. So now I'll show you the very simple process of how to put these on. So first of all here I've got the template for my bang deck cover and I've got a piece of Wonder Under or fusible web and, and this is just a uh, paper that has a sticky back. It's got uh, glue on it that when you heat it it's going to fuse onto the fabric then you peel the paper off and you can fuse the other side onto another piece of fabric. And that's just a really nice way of um, gluing without having to stitch if you don't want to. It's used for applique and 
um, attaching quite a number of, of things like that. So I'm just going to trace two of these. Then I just take the paper side up and the sticky side down and place it onto the wrong side of my fabric. And then just take your iron and just going to fuse that in place. Make sure that it's stuck really well. So now we can cut these out and then we're ready to peel the back off them and fuse them into place. So now you need to flip the base of your sofa station over and we've got these two channels here that we can see stitched through that uh, is where the binding is and right in the centre of this is where we want our magnets to be. So you're going to measure from this edge, so up this side we've got the needle um, keeper, from this edge we're going to measure up one and a half inches just eyeballing it in the centre here, so you can measure it if you want to. Just going to put a nice big dot there. So that's one and a half inches, and I'm also going to measure at four inches here. Put another nice big dot. So now you need to remove the paper backing from the back of your fusible web that you've put on the back of your fabric here. And just check that that's on there, you can feel that it's just a little bit sticky. So now I'm going to take um, the base of my pincushion because I have made these first. I'm going to flip it up the other way and I can feel the magnet that's in there. And I'm just going to put that underneath and just roughly align that with the dot that I've marked here on the base. Then you're going to take your magnet and you're going to make sure that it's going to snap into place. So if I put it up this way, you can see that it's just shooting off. It doesn't want to be there, but it wants to flip over onto this side. So I can keep that centered over the dot that I've got there. Then just take your um, fusible web here that you've put on the back of the fabric with the sticky side down, and then just fuse that in place. Just holding the magnet in the middle with your finger. Just working your way around and getting that all nicely in the middle there. Now that's not fully fused yet, but that's good enough. Uh, just while I put the other one on. So I'm just going to move the pin cushion here up to the next dot. Just feel with my finger to get it roughly in place. Snap that into place. Make sure that it is snapping and it's not pushing away. And just grab your next uh, circle of fabric here with the fusible web on it. And just repeat the process of fusing that into place. So now you can remove the pincushion and just before you fuse that all down properly just check that this one's going to snap nicely onto there as well and that works beautifully. So now you can take the iron and just give it one more really really good fuse and use some steam if you want. And like I said, um, if you would like to, to add some hand stitching um, around the edge of this, you can do that. Um, you can even make it go through to the front if you would like as an extra little uh, cute feature. Uh, but that would just be an extra peace of mind if you feel like this isn't secure enough as it is. So yes, that's how you um, add the magnets onto the back. And yes, I hope you enjoy finishing your service station.